OK, and here's a question all about graphs. We're given a graph, we don't know its equation, we just know a couple of points on it and its general shape, and we've got to sketch these two graphs showing the intersections with the axes, in other words, the points corresponding to the two given points. So in the first one we've got to do the modulus of this function. So the modulus leaves certain bits alone, and other bits um, it will change values, it will change negative values into positive values. So you need to decide which part of the graph gives you negative values and which need to be changed to positive values and you need to flip that into positive values and you need to make sure it curves the right way and label the y-intercept that you'll find um, with the points corresponding to um, the coordinates here but modified because of the change you've made. Then for dotty 2, we've got a 2 shoved in front of the f of x, so you need to remember your theory of transformations. How does that 2 affect the graph? Decide the transformation first, and then decide how that will affect the shape of the graph, but more crucially, what change, if any, is made to the coordinates a0 and 0-b when you do that particular transformation. Decide those two intersections, draw a curve through those two points with the correct shape, and you'll get these two marks here. These are independent of each other, so part dotty 2 is, if you like, a re-entry point, as is the whole of part B. Part B of the question is not much to do with part A. It's testing your knowledge in the first case of transformations. So here we've got a basic graph log x, and we've got three kind of things being done to that. We've got a 4, a plus 1, and a minus 2, and decide in the correct order what three things are done to the graph. There are six marks altogether. Even if you get the transformations in slightly the wrong order, or you garble one of them, you should still get a healthy whack of marks, very generously allocation, allocation of marks for this question. Do be very careful that you describe your, calculate, your transformations carefully with the correct words out of your notes. The words you use are very important. And then, yet another re-entry point, we've got to find the exact values of the coordinates of the points where that graph crosses the coordinate axes. So you've got two things to find. You've got a y-intercept, which will be when x equals naught. So put x equals naught in and find y. And the x-intercept is when y equals naught. So set um, y to equal naught and solve an equation to find x. OK, and we, the answers are coordinates of points, so make sure having found these, you've got two coordinates. One will be naught something, and the other will be something naught. State clear coordinates, and hopefully, hopefully you will get those four marks there.